Hi everybody, I'm Sarah Clark and I work at Historic Richmond Town, only right now I work from home. And uh, my title, I have two titles right now, Curator and Diversity Coordinator. Now yesterday I got to watch a video made by our Executive Director, Jessica Baldwin Phillips, where she told about some of the books in her house and she uh, bragged a little bit about some of the books that she had signed. So, challenge accepted, I decided to make my own video and show off some of my uh, signed books that I have here at home. So, without further ado, I'm going to start with this one, The Pigman, and this is by Paul Zindel, who is possibly one of the most famous authors to come from Staten Island. And um, I'll show you, the... here it is to Sarah, signed, sealed, delivered. Um, and actually, I should explain that how I got um, a bunch of my signed books is by working at Historic Richmond Town. One of the things I've done sometimes over the years is to help out at book signings, you know, when we host book signings. And I was lucky to get the job of being kind of the author handler. So I would make sure that um, the author, who was usually also a guest speaker, had, um, you know, a glass of water, uh, whatever pens they need to do the book signing, and I would sort of manage the line, um, help people get their books ready to be signed, make sure it stayed all orderly, kind of like um, being a bouncer for nerds or something. Uh, so, um, so it was... It was a great pleasure to uh, meet Paul Zindel, um, an author I'd always admired, and to get this signed copy of The Pigman. Definitely recommend it. Um, and also, I'm going to show another book, which this one I did not get signed by Mr. Zindel, but I had to show you this. It's called The Pigman and Me, and I hope I'm holding this in the right place so you can see it. The Pigman and Me. Um, so if you like The Pigman, and especially if you're a Staten Islander, I definitely recommend you read this one too, because this is um, the true story. Uh, the Pigman is fiction, but based a lot on Zindel's life growing up on Staten Island. And The Pigman in Me kind of gives you the inside story, the background. So definitely recommend both of those books. And the next book I'm going to show you is called Girl of the Moment. It's really cool. It's got a great, awesome cover. And this book is by Elizabeth Zindel, who's Paul Zindel's daughter. And I had the pleasure of being able to work with her as well. And she was just delightful. And she signed my book and she wrote it out to my daughter, Lily. And by the way, this is Lily's bedroom that I'm sitting in right now, so shout out to Lily. Um, the next book I'd like to show you is by Walter Dean Myers. And Walter Dean Myers is, I think, more known for writing young adult fiction. But this is a lovely little book of his called Brown Angels, and it's filled with... Uh, Fantastic historic photos. I'll just show you one. Uh, fantastic historic photos of children and um, some text to go with them. So this is Brown Angels by Walter Dean Myers. Uh, next book. Okay, so this is a nice little light book suitable for uh, people of any age to enjoy. And then the next one I'm going to show you is a little heavier. And this is Gotham, A History of New York City to 1898 by Edwin Burroughs and Mike Wallace. And this one I actually won in a raffle. Um, the other ones um, I had to buy because, you know, if you're working at a nonprofit, there's not a lot of freebies. So um, 
I would buy the books but get the signatures for free. But this one, there was actually a raffle um, at the event where we had Mike Wallace as a guest speaker, and I won the raffle. So I was thrilled because, especially because this was a kind of expensive book, and here's my, my inscription right there. And I guess you can also see that this book has a lot of post-it notes in it because, you know, it's a history of New York City. I kind of dig that. So, yeah, look at that, all the post-its on the, on the pages of all the notes because, you know, I wouldn't, I would, I wouldn't want to mark up my books permanently, but I feel like the post-its, even if they're not totally archival, I think they're okay. And I think I'm going to take them off someday when I don't need them anymore, but, you know, I just leave them there a long time. And let's see, the next book I want to show you is called Shades of Glory. And this is about Negro League baseball. And it was written by a great guy named uh, Larry Hogan, Lawrence D. Hogan. And uh, it was a great pleasure to work with him. He wrote this book and he also... Um, curated an exhibit about Negro League Baseball, which we were able to show in our museum at Historic Richmond Town. So that was a great pleasure. And um, when we had the event with the book signing for this, it was at the Staten Island Hilton. Actually, a, a lot of these uh, uh, events were, were at the Hilton, so shout out to them. And uh, so this one I have signed by Larry Hogan and also by a few of the players who we had with us that day, uh, Armando Vasquez, Jim Robinson, and Joe P. And I'm, I think his name's Perina, but I'm, I can't quite remember. Um, but that was a really, really great event, a great opportunity for me as well. Um, I've got a bunch more books here, but I feel like I've been talking a long time and I don't want to take too much of your time. Um, so maybe I'll just kind of wrap up there, but, um, so I want to say to Jessica, thanks for the inspiration. I had fun going through my books and, um, uh, maybe I'll show you some more another time, or maybe you'll show me some of your books. Um, I think it would be really cool if other people made videos, or even just took pictures of uh, some of the cool books they have at home. Um, because, you know, if you have a home and you have books in it, then that's a blessing. Um, you've got a safe place to be and um, something to entertain your brain. So enjoy that. Um, that's Arts and Culture in Quarantine. Thanks, everybody. Check it out.